how you guys doing? Are you ready? Are you ready, girl? Are you ready for a new chit chat? Y'all know how I be adjusting stuff. Quick shout out to Angel, aka Nezzy Naps. Y'all, I speak to some of your favorite YouTubers besides me. I speak to several different people throughout the month. I don't, I'm not gonna sit here and say I have to talk to people every dang on week. No, throughout the month, I speak to several different content creators and I'm telling you, and like Angel is a real OG. She's the type of person, um, without me even asking, she will give me feedback on my videos and I appreciate that. You know, she'll let me know, yeah, your video, <laughs> that, that video was a little too bright or this one was great you know, and I appreciate that. So. I appreciate you, Angel. I just want to let you know that. I'm not sure. I don't know if she watches my chit chat videos, but I appreciate that from her giving me feedback. I also appreciate you guys. I want to say it real quick, and this is in all seriousness. I've gotten quite a bit um, of new subscribers due to that rice water video. Y'all, y'all still fighting in those comments? No. <laughs> You're not fighting. You just don't agree with some stuff and that's okay. And so thank you for everyone who is new and subscribing and watching my videos. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, yeah, I'm recording a style tutorial, comparison tutorial now. So yeah, I know how we do it. We talk about what's in these YouTube streets because I got a lot to say. I got a lot to say. We're gonna be talking about what's in these YouTube streets, what I'm watching on TV, which honestly hasn't been a lot. And you know, what's going on in home life and what has it been. So, YouTube. First of all, let's talk about real quick. Girl, Tony and the guy. Now look, my, my chit chats are not going to be catered around this gal. <laughs> around this young woman but we're talking about you know part of my chit chat segment is talking about what i've been watching and i've been picking up a little bit on her on her um videos and y'all i i guessed it i kind of knew that she would be she would go dip in a lady pond i mean and i'm laughing because half <laughs> okay it's not funny half I think she really does like Tony. I think Tony knows that. I think Tony is kind of, either she's ignoring it or we're not hearing everything. We ain't gonna go there. But I think Half has a thing for her. We can see it, y'all. You know, we, 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 we can sense it here. But yeah, Tony has been on her first date. What the hell? What is that? I, I need to really work this stuff in. Since she announced what's going on with her and her husband. Now, let me just say this. First of all, let me let me just say this. The woman is grown, meaning Tony. She can do whatever she wants. However, I have seen people who tend to, and people say, you know, going on a date is harmless. Hmm. Hmm, to a certain degree. I have seen what happens when you jump into relationships uh, preliminary, what do you, I don't know how he said. So, you gotta take precautions, and I'm sure she has, but to go on a date three months after separation, that seems very fast. Again, she's grown, she could do whatever she wants, but yeah, I, I think that seems a little, a tad bit fast. I really do. Um, y'all, what the hell is this stuff in my hair? I'm gonna have to use some water, and hopefully whatever this is, yeah, see, now it's disappearing. Um, yeah, it, it could be dangerous for her and the other person, actually. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. We're going to move on. <laughs> um, yeah, the biggest thing as a content creator is this new Children's Protection Privacy Act that we all must, com we all must comply with. Now... Those of you know by now, you saw the photo I shared. Um, Y'all, I really got to get whatever this is out of my hair because it's going to affect my braid out, okay? Um, that JV will not be in my vlogs anymore. So overall, now I'll get to that. We'll circle around. Overall, as a country creator, what I must do is either mark my channel as either it's kid appropriate or not 
or do it on a case by case scenario with my videos. So when I tried, went up to upload a vlog recently, it asked me, is your video kid friendly? I'm like, well, technically it is, especially since I have a six year old and the thumbnail. But I started reading, you know, what type of features will be disabled if I marked it as kid friendly. I'm like, oh no, I can't do this. I need to mark it as, you know, basically for adults only, you know? So I looked at a couple of other, um, actually I watched a YouTube video that YouTube had put out for content creators several times. So what it basically boils down to, at least from what I understand, these kid focus channels like Ryan's TV review is a good one. Um, you know, the toy reviews, uh, but then where it kind of gets into the gray area, which is why I said no more in my vlog, family vloggers, gaming, um, animation, stuff like that, especially the gaming community. So some of those videos could be considered, you know, kids watch those videos, so what do you do? This is where some of us are frustrated at. YouTube can come in, because this is what happened. When I logged into my account, when I saw that notice, I was like, oh my God, what does this mean? JB is connected to my account. I did not create an entirely new platform. When I log in, I see me, I see JB and another raggedy old thing that I tried to the girl. And so he's technically connected to, yeah, it's a separate channel, but it's still, we're all up under the same umbrella, okay? When I went over to my account, everything was okay, my page. When I went over to, when I went to my channel, everything was okay. When I went over to Jamie's channel, oh, YouTube had already started flagging his videos as kid friendly, which would make sense because he has, you know, the, even the title of his, um, the titles of his videos are focused towards kids. I have kids playing as tags, all of that, right? This is again where the gray area, gray area comes in on my channel. I have him in my vlogs. I have him, there's two or three vlogs that he did himself and I have kids and stuff in my tags. Um, I have a couple of, hair care that are focused on him. But since overall my main channel is beauty and natural hair, it's okay. But this is where it gets crazy. The Rice family and some other family vloggers have had their um, comments disabled because they have children in their videos. So when I saw that had happened, when I saw that policy, excuse me, I immediately contacted a few YouTubers and so I messaged Emerald Rice Cause we're friends, we've been friends on Facebook for a while. So I messaged her, I'm like, hey sis, have you read about this new policy? She's like, I haven't had time, but just to let you know, they disabled our comments for months now. She's like, I'm over it. So sure enough, cause I haven't been, you know, I haven't been watching their videos cause she has tons of videos, right? I went back to her channel and this is Emerald Rice, the Rice family, those you guys don't know, interracial family. She has a twin sister named Zaire. Yeah, long story, Zaire used to live out here. Anyway. Sure enough, on this woman's channel, her, again, it's a family vlogging channel, but she talks about hair, she has groceries haul, she talks about her braces, tattoo removal, locks journey, because she has locks. They've been disabled, they disabled all her comments for the past, it's not funny, for about the past 10 months on every video. So because the majority of her, of her videos are, have children in them, even if she posted, I watched a video of grocery haul disabled. Disable the comments. Now her lock video, they you could you could post, you could see comments. So what I don't want that to happen. Basically, I was gonna do Vlogmas. That's another thing. I just typed in um, a couple of videos, opening up presents, Vlogmas. They they disable comments. YouTube disabled. When I see mean they, YouTube disabled comments on these videos of kids opening up their presents. So I'm like, Ugh. I know Belief Life was another one. Sandy Socialite is another one. So basically, yeah, family vlogging, children, gamers, animation. Um, so if you have a channel like mine that's bleeding into a little bit of vlogging, like the Rice family, even though that's, that's a family vlogging channel, she talks about a lot of stuff. But again, since she is consistently showing her kids, they blocked, meaning the comments are shut off and she's, she's like over. <laughs> I 
but basically, so long story short, I want to limit JB's visibility on my channel, okay? So Vlogmas would have, that yeah, that would have triggered, I, I think it would have triggered something, because not, not a lot of people do Vlogmas, and when they do, they don't do it every day. We were gonna do it every day. I was gonna have JB do a couple of videos, and I just don't want anything happening to my comment section. I need to go back and look at his channel. What I did is I went ahead and marked his videos as unlisted since YouTube already went in there and marked, marked those as kid friendly. Once you do that, it's permanent. Like you can contact YouTube and have them, but I can't go back and forth. You see what I mean? Um, so until I get a little bit more information on where to go with his channel, no, he won't be in the vlogs. We won't be doing vlogmas. I think I'm okay. I'm I'm not worried about my channel. It's just that y'all these these family vlogging channels. They're the ones that are gonna be who are gonna be hurting. You know what I mean? It makes and it makes you as a content creator. It makes you not want to do anything because you spend all this energy and effort. You know, getting videos together, filming, editing, just for them to disable comments. Um, another one is doctor's channels yeah doctors doctor's channels so y'all be surprised who has um who have youtube channels so i watch a pediatrician and he has children in his videos right oh they disabled the comments even though the channel is directed towards parents and adults but because there are minors in like 90 percent of his videos you cannot see you cannot see comments, you cannot make comments. They disable comments. And he has a huge following. Dr. Paul, I can't remember his last name. Yeah, so that's what's going on. Again, like I said, I'm not worried, but what I don't want to do is, well, I should say this. What I want to do is be careful with the type of content that I put out here. Now, I don't think like, you know, if JB shows up, you know, three months from now in a video for five, four or five seconds, that's not gonna do anything. I guess my point is that I can't do something like Vlogmas where he's uploading stuff and he's in the actual video, so. But speaking of YouTube, I wanna talk about a couple of YouTubers I miss. We always talk about this stuff every now and then, girl. The YouTubers who are long gone, I mean, they're alive. I don't say that, Vivian. They are alive, and I hope well, but they don't post anymore. Y'all, they don't post, and some of them, you don't care anything, you know? So I have a little list here. You know, YouTube was the shiznit seven, eight years ago. It was awesome, and not just natural hair, just all overall. I mean, yes, you had your petty beef. Come on, we. it was there, but it's... It wasn't all this fake, fake, phony stuff that you see going on now. You have people who are, let me tell you something. They, y'all were mad about the rice water video. You're gonna be mad about this fenugreek. Is that how you pronounce it? Fenugreek oil. I ain't seen nothing. I'm not seeing any change. I've been using this oil for four months. I'm not even sure if I want to do a separate video on it or a video on my journey because I want, I think I want to withhold that for, for next year and really take my time and do it for three months straight through. But so far, yeah. So I guess my point is, is that I'm seeing, you know, you see these hair growth videos. Another thing you have to keep in mind, I don't understand why us four chicks go onto a 3A, 3B, sometimes, um, yeah, excuse me, 3B, 3C, 4A, and we're thinking that our hair is gonna grow that fast, as fast as their hair. Our hair is not gonna grow that fast. What was it, what, I can't, I can't remember the young lady's name, but she's the one that has, she has a lot of videos on this hair growth oil, right? Even a couple of other ones, they have looser curl patterns. 4C hair is not gonna grow, our hair will grow, okay? It will, I'm, I'm not seeing that, but their hair is going to grow faster. It's just, we, our expectations as four type, it's just sometimes it's ridiculous. And I see people in the comments, you know? Back to some of the YouTubers who are no longer here on YouTube. And I miss them for whatever reasons I miss them. I have a little list here too, y'all. Um, so African Export. I absolutely enjoyed her videos, her content. Remember how she used to get all up on the camera and give you a hug? 
I, she seemed genuine, grown. She wasn't childish, childish, excuse me. Um, you know what really made me respect her? And let me back up. African Expert had four type hair. And one of the few, when you type, you clicked on the video, and yeah, I am gonna sound petty. When you clicked on the video, it was actually four type hair, dark skin, chocolate sister. So, um, what really raised my opinion of her, I guess you could say, she had a video of, it was of her husband's ex and they share kids. You know, she, he, let me back up. Her husband had kids with this, with this woman and she ended up marrying him and she was hugging this woman. They were, you know, talking to get, talking to each other. There was no cattiness. And it was so funny. Like the woman, the, the ex looked so much like African ex where that I thought it was a family member. And when I saw that, and she was mentioning in the video, meaning African African expert, and I can't remember her first name, y'all. She was mentioning in the video how they are, you know, they're friends and they hang out, their kids hang out so their kids can grow up together. I said, you know what? My respect for you has gone up by 15, 20 points. Cause there's not a lot of people who could do that, who could put aside any, you know, any differences or whatever and come together as a family for the sake of your children i was like wow and this was a, a, a while back she did that um when she posted that video of course so y'all that's a great hair i see you i see you i see you silver so yeah she was on twitter for a while i don't know if she's active on there anymore uh because i'm not on twitter i'm really not and so yeah i miss her videos every now and then i will go back and look at some of her videos just for you know some tips or whatever um but yeah miss her i do miss border hammer border hammer um has impeccable style and by the way she has thin hair which i think oftentimes thin natural hair gets underrepresented on this platform let's just be honest um a lot of people be clicking on the thick full hair Thank you, but you, there are some people who don't who don't have a lot of hair. You don't have dense hair or thick hair. You know what I mean? So I really do like the fact that when she was posting, act, actively posting on hair care, she would show her hair, which I think she has beautiful hair. All right, um, she does a little bit of everything. She has some career advice videos. I think she's a graphics a graphics order by, by trade. Um, lately, she's been really getting into fashion um i think her mom is still living with them uh she rented out an apartment i'm like what type of fun y'all have none of my business but she literally and this is what some of the higher up youtubers do they have studios so they don't they're not like this you don't see a fireplace and trick-or-treat whatever you don't see that in the background you see a clean, they're in a studio. And so she actually, I think she rented an apartment for a while and she had all these ideas for videos. She hasn't posted in almost 10 months. So I hope she's doing well. Border Hammer, okay? Um, who else, who else? Leo Body. Leo Body was one of those, you, she was so different, y'all. She was eclectic. She had waist lump waist long waist long length beautiful beautiful hair i think she was from atlanta um she was really big into um eating pretty well i think she even got into um fitness training or what do you call that sculpturing bodybuilding for a while um she has this thick deep voice a uh, very regal look about her she will wear her hair in these beautiful updos pompadours um, she would show some of her fashion sense, which was a little dark, a little dark. You know who she remind me of? And I have to look her name up. I think her first name began with an M. Remember that movie, um, The Howling 2, Your Sister's a World? <laughs> is her name Melissa, the actress? The actress is, can't think of her name. The Howling 2, there was an African-American, um, a black actress in the movie, but that leather type of that big hair, that's a Leo body. And I told her that once and she, she's a hoot. Now she is on Instagram. I do follow her on there, but I'm not going to give out that information because I don't know if she wants people to figure out where she's at or you know what I mean? So, um, 
Y'all ran her off of YouTube. <laughs> I'm talking about y'all. Um, some people can't handle YouTube, you know, the, the comments and stuff like that, which I get. She was getting a lot of flack for one being in an interracial relationship. She got people who didn't think she was a woman. And, you know, just making all these crazy comments, asking her what she's mixed with. I'm like, she's from Atlanta. She, no. well, what, are, what are people in Atlanta mixed with? I, I, don't, I don't know. So she got fed up with it and was like, whatever. You know, I, I even used to see one or two comments. Oh, that's a lace front. You, you weren't lace front. Y'all, that's what I'm saying. When you on here, you gotta ignore people. I had someone on my rice water journey video say, you're not a good candidate for this. Your hair was already long. Of course, she didn't know who, whoever this person was that left the comment didn't have any profile picture. But you know, that's not necessarily a mean comment, but it's like, why, why, are you, why are you so bothered by that? Why are you so bothered? Or oftentimes I'll get someone that, uh, you shouldn't be using that. This has harmful ingredients and they will list all the ingredients in the product. I'm like, girl, did, did you not see my vlog while I was eating chicken? That, that has harmful ingredients too. I was eating fried chicken. So I don't, I don't, thank you. But some of this stuff I'm already aware of. And a lot of the times I'm not even using those products anymore. If you see me reviewing a product and if you don't see it ever again, it's probably still in there. I'm not using it again. So anyway, all that to say, yeah, Leo Body, you know, Natural Chica. She was one of the people that I watched consistently because our hair textures and shape of our hair are very much the same. Um, so much has happened with her. She has gotten married, had a baby. I think they're living in Mexico. Last time I was really watching her channel, they were living in Mexico. Um, and I get it, you know, y'all, since I've been on YouTube. Yeah, since I've been on YouTube, I've gotten married and had a baby. And, um, you know, things change and you can't be as consistent as you would want to, which I absolutely agree. Um, who else, who else, who else? There was one, Lexi with the curls. Now, Lexi with the curls is, she's still, she is three, I think she's 3C4A. Um, but the reason why I really liked her channel, she had, back then, she had big, beautiful hair. She cut it all off. I was like, oh, like, I mean, she went drastic. And this is someone who had crazy density. And she went to like a tapered, did she have like a tapered haircut, y'all? It was bad, because her hair was like blonde. Or it still is, I think. Um, I know she's on Instagram. She was a ambassador for Mixed Chicks, I believe, for a while. Same thing with Cabrina. Remember Cabrina, y'all? I think that was her name. Um, I don't think she, her channel is even active anymore. And last but not least, what's the child's name? Craven Curly Kinks. Where has she been, y'all? She is four type with waistline. I think she has tailbone length hair. Um, I discovered her after one of her videos went viral, which I really appreciate her transparency for. She had, her hair had basically locked up. She had used Echo Styler Gel um, incorrectly, I'm just gonna be honest. But I will say one thing about her is that she showed the journey of how when you have a natural hair setback and how to get past that. And I, re I really do appreciate it that and I love that. That was a while back. It's now been a year since she's had any activity on her Instagram, on her uh, YouTube, and she hasn't responded or said anything. And so, um, yeah, those are the YouTubers I really do, as far as natural hair, that I really do miss on this platform. Um, so yeah, let's get into a little bit of of, of you of TV, y'all. So I haven't been watching a lot, so I did end up adding everything that y'all suggested. So thank you for your suggestions. The first thing I started watching on Netflix was The Good Place. Love it. I absolutely love it, and I love the fact that the only person I really recognize is Ted Danson. <laughs> you know what else I like about it, y'all? You're gonna think I'm crazy that they can't curse because they're in quote unquote the good place, which is kind of like, I guess you would consider heaven. They can't curse. 
Um, and I, I really do that. That's refreshing to me to have a show where there's no cursing on it. Um, really didn't start watching anything else. Catching up on The Walking Dead still. Negan is back acting crazy with the whispers and all that drama. Um, there's something wrong. Like I said, I couldn't get my show box to watch because that's where I watch a lot of my shows on my Android. Blackberry slash Android. And I can't get that to work anymore. <clears throat> Try to watch Real Housewives of Atlanta. Sorry, y'all. Um... I can't do it y'all and you know what really did it and it's really funny how the holy spirit works i was trying to watch it and i guess there was an episode where they were cursing and you know how they bleeping and they're bleeping it out they're bleeping it out and jb finally was jb my child said mommy can you turn it because they're using a lot of cursing i said well maybe they're bleeping it out he said mommy i'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing a video <laughs> this is him talking to me checking me out of the mouths of babes he said, but mommy, I'm going to be doing a video soon and I don't want all that bleeping in my video. I said, you know what? Let me just, I don't have to turn it down. Let me just turn it and I will never turn it on here again. So it's just disheartening that the only show like that, they're always into some type of ratchet behavior. And all these women are over 30. Hell, they over 35. How old is Portia? I'm like, you know what? No, I'm not doing it. I thought I could do even the Married to Medicine. I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, I'm over it. I really am. So let's get into a little bit of celebrity gossip, y'all. Summer said, <laughs> Summer said, if y'all ain't taking this whole bath, whole bath like I am, I'm done with all y'all. So when I uploaded that chit chat, literally, while I was uploading it, she had announced that she's done with being a celebrity, with Hollywood, the fakeness. Um, I don't know what to think about that. On one hand, I'm thinking, you had to have known this. I get it, she's in her, in her early 20s, and she probably didn't. But to a certain degree, you had to have known, Summer, that there's a bit of phoniness and fakeness to this quote-unquote glamorous life of Hollywood. That's why so many people in this lifestyle end up messed up. Cause they can't, you know, you know what I mean? Um, and then on the other hand, it's like, are you, if you don't want people commenting, don't overshare or don't share at all. Be like Beyonce. Don't say anything. Don't get involved with anything. But you don't see Beyonce showing, you know, her bowl of holish. Ho <laughs> I'm saying absolutely people can be insensitive and leave rude comments. It's the internet. You have the ability to get on your phone, click an X and log off and not have to deal with it. Um, <laughs> God, poor thing. And what, now they're saying she's a witch on Twitter? They're saying she's a witch, y'all. You gotta be careful what you call people too. Is she really a witch or y'all just saying that? I didn't look into that because I'm like, I ain't got time for this show. So yeah, before that happened, T.I., again, another example of if you don't want people commenting on all the foolery that you do in your household, don't put it out there. Don't share it. So T.I., those of you who are not familiar with the situation, T.I. has stated that he um, gets a report every year from the gynecologist from about his daughter's virginity, whether or not her hymen is still intact. Now, when I heard this, I thought this is this this can't be true. Like, this is some medieval 1800s stuff. Or people really, I mean, I I have heard of other countries where before a woman gets married or before they almost like sell her to someone, yeah, that they check to see if her hymen is still intact. Which, by the way, you can actually lose your hymen from something that somebody's running a bicycle ti. So this is my only thing, y'all. If he wants to do that and if she consents to it, because apparently she's consenting to it, which I think she's doing it out of fear and to keep the money to a certain degree. One, I'm curious to think to what her mother thinks about it. Two, again, if she's okay with it and he's saying this is what needs to be done, they're all in agreement with it, fine. Just don't come on your... <laughs> Don't be announcing that stuff in an interview or whatever because people are going to react to it, okay? This is the other thing I have a problem with. Apparently, their second youngest son 
King, is that his name? King, and I don't remember the baby. He still looks like a baby to me. He had, they had discovered that he'd been having sex since he's 14 years old. So why T.I. is up here worrying about his daughter's hymen, who's she's 16, his 14 year old son, now he's 15, his 14 year old son is out here swinging his little dang -a -lang. That's who you should be worried about. I, I just absolutely disgusting. And so I even um, <laughs> told my husband about it and he was like, what? I said, yes, this man gets a report every year from the gynecologist to make sure his daughter is still a virgin. And he's like, that's too much. That is absolutely ridiculous. And this is someone, meaning my husband, this is someone who runs pregnancy tests and 10 and 11 year old kids. And he thinks that's too much. There, you know what, that to me, that's a trust issue. You should be able to have a conversation with your daughter to ensure that she is not having a premium, whatever you, but to physically have her checked and to get, you know, you get checked yearly anyway, but to get that report from the doctors to make sure two more years, she's an adult technically in two more years. So what do you, I mean, what is he gonna do? Yeah, that's, that's just creepy, like I said. It really is, it's creepy. All right, y'all, I am chit-chatting away. This is gonna be a long, kind of a long, long chit-chat, but y'all like that. Um, I will be trying to do these on a weekly basis now that I won't be vlogging as much. I, I would try, but I, again, it, it depends on what's going on. Um, I did put my bid in to be an ambassador for Camille Rose for next year. Look, and I'm saying I'm done with I'm done with reviews. But you know what? I like Camille Rose products, and hopefully it'll be something that's very similar to their existing products. So it's not like look, look. I'm not willing to try a new line. Like I know a couple of you asked me if I would try Mono's hair, and I love Mo. No, I won't be trying her line. No, I will not be trying the line by, what's what's the girl's name, uh, Diana's Ross daughter. I will not be trying Pattern. I've seen so many mixed reviews on Pattern and quite frankly, on Mono's hair care line. I won't be trying those products. But if it's someone who's like, oh me, she came out with a new deep conditioner, yes. I may try that. I may, you know, if Camille Rose picks me as an ambassador, absolutely, but I'm at this point in my hair, whatever, unless it's something absolutely bomb, like my, my stylist who came up with a new product. <laughs> but I'm not trying any new product lines, if that makes sense. No, I'm not. So anyway, that is it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you as always to all of my subscribers. Take care, y'all. Bye.